What's going on, YouTube? It's Ed here with some uh, Call of Duty Warzone Season 3 updates. So today is April 27th, which, which means Season 3 is going to start, I believe, today. And as per normal, Raven has released some patch notes, so let's go over it together. Uh, first things first, here is a list of the different uh, playlists for the next upcoming next few weeks. Nothing too exciting, except that they're adding Clash 50 vs. 50 this week, which is a good way to up, um, uh, upgrade some of the new guns if you get them quick. Um, but So that will be pretty uh, convenient, I guess you would say. Uh, starting week May 11th, is when we finally get Operation Monarch, which is will be in quads. I'm not exactly sure how this gameplay will be done, um, but basically for new event Operation Monarch, it says it's a special limited time event featuring you know these Godzilla and King Kong, where they'll introduce a new game mode for quads inspired by several Warzone's best experiences to date. So according to the trailers, I, I guess you'll have to fight them in some shape or form not sure we'll have to fight everybody else too um i remember there was one event on verdansk where like you had to stop a train and but it was like the entire map versus the train so i think but there was only like 50 people in there uh so uh that was like kind of the event i think there was something like that for when they introduced cold war and like you had to like find woods I think it was something similar as well. Like it was like a real live event, but it looks like, but that was like a one time event where like you couldn't even play any other uh, event. So, but this is a actual opera, like a playlist. So basically you can go in and out of it or not in and out of it, but you can go into it at will. Um, so I'm guessing it's just gonna be normal BR quads, but you're gonna have to fight off Kong and Godzilla. I'm not sure how that's going to work because I feel like <laughs> any team that's going to go up against the Titans and they're probably going to be like bullet sponges. So you're going to have to drop. I mean, it's going to be something similar to fighting those like armored trucks around the island where you unload a ton of uh, bullets. You know, maybe it'll drop some stuff as, as it moves along. But then, you know, by the time you kill it, everyone knows like you're there. And then, you know, you either get third partied or well, in this case, second partied, I guess, by another team where they kill you before you even kill it. Or maybe they'll get you when you're looting. I don't know. I feel like they should just do something where the entire map is against them, you know, um, type of situation. Uh, but anyways, new stuff that they're coming out with. So Iron Trials Caldera. Um, so basically what this will entitle is that there's going to be no free loadout drops, so none of that. ATVs, tack rovers, and squad transports only, so basically no trucks and no choppers, or no Berthas. Uh, buy station prices are increased, cash retained on death is increased, so you'll still keep mo more of your money. And melee finishers kept at 150, so basically you can't kill someone on a finisher. Um, which is unless you have less than 150 health, which would only mean that you have no plates. Uh, the base health is increased, health regen is decreased, delay timer is increased. So basically, it's just gonna be it's like hardcore mode or like realistic mode in normal uh, in normal COD. You know, like basically they make everything a little bit harder. You know, cash piles are harder to find, which. This makes it a little too, like, basically you have to rely on floor loot a lot of the times, and, um, yeah, like, that's, and, like, you have to loot, and basically, and I feel like this just encourages a lot more camping, <laughs> but that's just me, um, and then in the gulag, there's no akimbo and no semi-auto or fully auto shotguns. That was never in there in the, like, this, I've yet to be in a gulag where either of these were even in there now so um plunder who cares uh rebirth i don't really care that much but it looks like players no longer spawn with handgun charlie the black ops cold war starting so basically no more diamati i'm guessing 
Uh, there's going to be a new gulag called Hold. It's a roughly symmetrical arena in the belly of a ship. So maybe something like Shipment that, or something similar to that uh, with identical hallways on the perimeter of an otherwise open space. Okay. Um, not gonna... That seems new, cool. Uh, new location, so new dig site. So the dig site is gonna be a lot more interesting now with a giant titan skeleton and other parts. So like now, I guess like you're gonna have to start renaming some of this stuff, you know, in case you have certain call outs like, oh, by this giant skeleton, by the big head, you know, by the mouth or something, or by the spine um, of, <clears throat> you know, for when you see people. Uh, Skybox, uh, not sure. Not sure what, if they add, it doesn't look like, this looks like the, like the docks area. I don't know sure if they added much stuff in here. They're just giving a screenshot. Um, but now there's like a dark storm approaches, whatever. Um, definitely a new peak which is great because now i feel like peak is you know kind of like the new uh, it is basically the new uh, superstore but now they added so much more to it where there's a lot more interior to the actual buildings and like is like more of a cohesive ring now as well with i guess a, a few more buildings on the bottom and a little bit more area to go so now, if you drop there, it's just not just going to be a kill fest, you know, is, I mean, they could still be that, that's for sure, but it definitely gives you a lot more options. Oh, look, they even built out the, this part, uh, where the chopper is. So that's a little higher. I don't know if that's a good idea. Cause now people can just rain down fire onto the people below. Um, so we'll see how that goes. They should definitely, I hope they have a, a rope or two so that people can go up there quickly. Uh, but it looks like there is a door where you can probably go up some stairs. Um, but I feel like that might be just like shooting fish in a barrel as well. Uh, runway. So now they added a bunch more stuff. Because runway before, I feel like, was just desolate. There's nothing there. You know, now they added a... I mean, there's still a chopper there. But they added a few more containers and more cover. They have these drop-off um, kind of deploy ships or whatever you want to call them. Uh definitely added some hangers and other structural additions which is nice like because before it was just useless like no point in even looting there like i feel like the only reason to go there was like maybe sometimes there'll be a scavenger contract and uh and then get the chopper that was it like there's nothing else there so hopefully adding all these tents and stuff will actually just give it a little bit more of a lootable area uh lagoon there's gonna be a new sandbar well, paths and cover cool looks like they took away a lot of the huts because we have that little worship stone thing i don't know what the heck that is but they took away some of the huts and lagoon uh okay and then looks like in general uh whatever private matches don't care xp tokens can now be activated in game good stuff good stuff there um new features Ooh, i like this sabotage contract Players will be given a vehicle target somewhere on the map. Destruction of the target will be rewarded with some, with an armor truck deployment via plane. Okay. Be warned, this armor truck can just as easily become someone else's. So, it's kind of like a supply drop, but we got to blow up a car to do it. <clears throat> I think there's going to be a lot more C4 and like, you know rockets being used now so like whatever if when you find like the rpgs and the panzerfaust on the ground might be a little bit more useful now especially if you have to go destroy a vehicle i'm assuming the vehicle is not super far away like you know it's not something like a uh, like another type of contract i forget that there's like a supply uh, supply run contract where you have to go like across like a quarter of the map just to get to it i hope it's like it's gonna be like the the next closest vehicle type of situation. Um, there should be a thing to sabotage where like other people within the area are alerted to that is going to be sabotage. But if you can like save it or something, they get the loot. <laughs> I don't know. That's just like random. I, that might be a bad idea because arguably someone might just third party camp that sucker and then kill the team that's coming to blow it up. So maybe that's not a good idea. 
high value loot zones. Uh, I don't know about this. These zones are represented on attack map with a very appropriate money sign or dollar sign and will provide the best looting opportunities. Ooh, this is basically it's kind of like the money drop that or like that's currently drawing. And instead of um, just one box, it's going to be an entire area. So we'll see how that goes. So if it's a big area or a big zone, I'm not sure how they're going to do the zone. Is it going to be a circle or is it going to be like, you know, all of mines or something like that? Um, see how that goes. So because I, I guess that means at least people can go there get a loot real quick and if there's enough get enough loot and money and if there's more than one supply station or buy station then they can buy something or buy a loadout real quick other adjustments uh gas mask will no longer interrupt a falling player uh that's never killed me that i can think of but i know it's an issue so it'll allow people to still be able to pull the parachute when falling to preserve their life it's a good, definitely good uh, kind of quality of life change. Uh, won't play animation when the player is ADS. Isn't that always a thing? Or no, hasn't that been a thing we, we recently? Uh, and affected by the gas from Nebula five rounds. Eh, okay. Um, here's a new thing. Most wanted contracts. Timer reduction via the following. Ooh. Limiting opponents will reduce it by 20 seconds. I feel like it should be more than 20 because usually like like if there's uh, uh i don't know like i feel like they're, they're just because like 20 seconds is like i mean it is a good chunk with it being like what like two and a half minutes um so but i feel like they could up that a little bit more to maybe like 30 because like you know, when you're most wanted, everyone, like, there's a lot of people that gun for you. And generally, if it's, like, two or three people, it's going to be two or three people, um, depending on how big, you know, what, what you're playing. Because, I mean, generally, most people don't do that. Or I, I rarely see people pick it up in duos. Um, it's non-existent in solos, of course. Um, and then, like, trios and quads, that's a lot more common. So, like, when you have, like, a three to four man team coming after you, you should be able to re like if you somehow team wipe them, I mean, you only get a minute to a minute and 20 seconds off, which is not bad. Like, I mean, it drastically reduces the time, but still like maybe that should be a little more generous because um, I would still avoid people, even though it's 20 seconds. Like I would still try to avoid people though. You're arguably, though you might be incentivized to kill someone if you do have like 30 seconds left or 20 seconds, you know, maybe less than 20 seconds left to just go kill someone and then cut out like the last 15 seconds or something super quick. Opening supply boxes reduce timer by five seconds. This is going to be key. Like I, I will, for me, if it was me, I would definitely get the most wanted contract and then loot as much as humanly possible assuming there's no one around me like then that's what i would definitely do like immediately so that i can um you know reduce the timer as as much as i can especially if i'm in a car or something if i'm in like a bertha and i can and i can get by and i can hear like you know boxes and buildings then that's how i would definitely do <clears throat> players can no longer use attack map to ping the most wanted which is good so that gives you the opportunity to at least do the supply boxes, opening supply box. Because if you can still be pinged, like, man, like you're just, you're just toast <laughs> at that point. Um, hopefully, and then the refresh rate of the target on tag map has to increase, makes sense uh, to counterbalance the removal of the buff ping. So basically you have to be within their vicinity or at least like, um, Wait, does this mean if we can't ping him on the attack map, do we still see him on the attack map? So I'm assuming yes. Um, hopefully this brings balance, blah, blah, blah. Bounties, speed increase to attack map refresh rate. Yes, because this is super annoying uh, when, you know, sometimes like you think you're near a bounty and then suddenly they're like 100 yards away or 100 meters away. And it's like, oh, they're in a vehicle. So this 
definitely counters that. The Pobo Bite, I don't know. Uh, there will now be dedicated audio narration to better inform squad mates of the player's intentions. All right. Um, <clears throat> redeploy position. Oh, thank God. Players who redeploy via Gulag Victory are or are brought back will now spawn in close proximity to their squad or load. I thank the Lord. There's so many times where like me or my team would would spawn at the other side of the damn map, and I get it. Like they don't want to spawn you like you know maybe in the gas or near the buy station you were bought back from because like gas is coming in and it's outside the circle. So it's like makes more sense to spawn you within the circle, but still like on the other side of the bloody map is just stupid though. If it's near a loadout, uh, what, ha what can happen is like if, if you get team wiped and the free loadout comes when you're in the gulag, um, you know, you, that, that loadout basically spawns in like a very odd part of the map or like towards the edge of the map. Um, and then I guess at that point you would just all, if you all win your gulags, you would all just spawn back. All right. Um, you would all just spawn back to the same area. So I guess that's not the worst idea, but if you have someone, but if you have someone alive, that's like outside of the ring or outside of the circle, and then you come back from gulag and there's also a loadout. I wonder what the, what it supersedes, you know, like, is it near the squad first or the loadout first? I think that's what I would want to know uh, or like what kind of trumps the next one um, other adjustments uh, we can now loot perks awesome so battle hardened engineer high alert restock temper that's all good stuff like you know quick fix scavenger but does this so the only thing I want to know is ooh Lootable perks are additive to loadout perks. Now this could be interesting because I don't have battle hardened or high alert. Well, I do have one loadout that's high alert, um, but now I can essentially uh, not have to worry if I have a restock. I can I have two loadouts, whereas one dedicated to high alert and one to restock, because that takes the same spot. I can now get both if I wanted to. I can also get battle hardened so that nades won't um, affect me as much. Obviously, you only get one. At, you only get one. You can't only one perk can be equipped at one at any one time. So you can't just get all of this stuff. Um, but between restock, tempered, maybe quick fix, and battle hardened, um, these are going to be really, really, uh, really useful. Maybe engineer, I guess, in some cases. But I would say those are going to be the three perks that are going to be the most useful scavenger who gives a crap uh, <laughs> no one you like i don't know if anyone that uses that um so that's good uh all perks are unequipped on death but do not drop so someone can't loot battle harden off of you that's interesting uh rebirth island we just readjustments um doesn't really affect me, but I'll just read them through. Remove the damage reduction scaling system that was based on ground distance. Okay. Um, spawn protection and oh, I see, I see. Yeah, that's good. Um, the weapon trade station adjustments reduce specialist token drop weight, rot, uh, drop rate, and uh, we even okay. Station will now look for empty space to drop your rewards. That's good. Um, okay, later in the season. So it's not going to be deployed right away, which is kind of a bummer. But footstep audio improvement, thank God, because there's so many instances where I, like, you know, I have my settings to boost low. I have pretty good gaming um, head headset. I mean, it's just a Logitech. Um, headsets here, but they're good, you know. Like, and uh, they're they're louder than they need to be, arguably in some cases. <laughs> so, um, but this will definitely improve some of the footsteps because I swear to God, sometimes people are ninjas, uh, and it's not because of um, dead silence. And then slide camera lock improvements, yes, especially with as hilly as 
caldera is like there's so many times where i'll be like looking down a mountain and i'm trying to slide down it and it'll just like kind of bring me up like my 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 camera and it's really annoying it hasn't killed me or anything but it is really annoying uh oh buy stations so here's some of the ui uh, ui and user experience changes no longer require confirmation when making a purchase Ooh, this is gonna be bad for me i feel like this only benefits controller users not so much mouse and keyboard users because okay i play on mouse and keyboard and um this could be bad for me because i can think of at minimum at least half a dozen times where the confirmation screen has saved me from buying something i shouldn't you know like it'll be like oh i'm supposed to get a loadout but i get whatever the next thing is which is i think like a armor or ammo box and i'm like oh crap like i almost bought this instead of a loadout you know and i feel like this is gonna get really dicey um so i'm gonna either have to be just very very careful which will take me a little bit more time to buy what i need to buy so that i don't screw up um which could just make me a sitting duck anyways or i just always i don't buy anything i just give my money to everybody else or like i'm just like very careful or like i have to pick a situation where like i don't mess up and i and i feel like we're gonna be messing up a lot in this case like even for controller users this can mess up because like if you're like kind of used to you know memorizing how to buy you know like you know say like a uav you always know like it's like four arrows down and then you x right if this if you push it like more than one or like either too few or too many then you buy the next item you know depending on what it is yeah. next or before item so this i feel like while this is a good thing i feel like overall uh, i think there's going to be a lot of miss buys coming in the next few days um <laughs> or next or like in the first few days uh bug fixes so fixing an issue causing incorrect ping position when used on the tech map near redeploy balloons it's a ping situation all over the map okay there's like so many situations where it constantly pings an item in front of me instead of be what's beyond the item there's a situation where if we ping on the tech map it shows up like 500 feet above it instead of like onto the position i'm actually pinging even when i'm on the ground and pinging with where i aim it doesn't always ping in the right place which is super annoying um so i don't know why so i feel like there's a lot of things with the ping system in general um fix an issue that caused players to get stuck in aa turrets huh. um fix an issue that prevented caribou gasoline from being picked up while dead sands is active huh fix an issue that allow players to glitch carry glitch carry caribou la up ladders huh i didn't even realize that was a thing preventing skyhook from receiving damage from certain explosives and thermite based sources never even tried those fix an issue that allow players to have unlimited gas immunity when entering area of effect of a pds as it ends i've never seen this like or i have it seen be seen exploited or something like that so huh uh cause an issue that we less that for vehicles to receive less damage than extent intended okay uh fix an issue for players to be kicked back to main menu when attempting to preview vanguard charms was that a thing i don't know uh buy station ui selections to reset to the top when attempting to scroll up okay um the armaguera 43 to have the same code name as another weapon whatever copters flying near capital to be pulled towards the ground was that a thing i never seen that the Fenrir Unchained finisher to be available to finishing moves menu. Oh, not to be available. I see. Uh, cause blueprint specific attachments for the Purgatory Lost Blueprint. Okay, these are all like very specific now. Um, prepare blacked out when player you would ADS. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, 
opportunities to cause the player's view to be obstructed when using Park's pedal pusher operator skin. So, okay, all these are like very, very specific to each. Um, to clip into stairs in certain areas of the map, fix an issue of them. Okay. How come they haven't even talked about like going into the mountain thing where the plane flies too low? Like, and private mattresses are temporarily disabled due to stability issues. Really? Really? Eh. I can't even look into this like um, known issues thing like and without. I don't know why they don't let this uh, freaking image to be exploded or like um, expanded and uh, maximized because I can't see Jack. Anyways, um, new weapons. So the M nineteen sixteen marksman rifle. Uh don't care um supposedly this might be so a combination of firepower and fire rate so hopefully it's not another dmr uh new assault rifle people so this is going to be the it's fast firing uh hopefully this is this good uh, both good in cqc and close quarters and mid-range combat cool um New unlock challenge missions. Earn three double kill medals with an AR in a single match 15 times. So if we, if we use the KG M40, earn three double kills. Oh shit. It's a lot of fucking double kills. Uh, ooh, now weapon uh, adjustments. So alpha assault rifle alpha. I, why do they do the coding? Just give me the goddamn name of the gun. I don't know which one this is. I'm assuming it's the STG. But it says 30 Russian short. I, I'm guessing the Gorenko. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing this is the... This is the STG, so damage range increase decreased to 10% down from 20%. Hmm. Or horizontal. This is this gun's been nerfed. So horizontal recoil penalty decreased. Okay, that's a little better. So what now is more accurate? Mm, vertical recoil penalty increased. Visual work recoil blah, recoil decreased. Um, the 50 round mags damage penalty removed. Ooh, bullet velocity penalty removed. So might be more, um, might be more beneficial to use the 50 round mag now. The cross neck, uh, barrel. So bullet velocity is increased to 40%. Oh shoot. Dude, like this. Oh, it was only nerfing this thing, but then it's buffing the crap out of these two. Uh, now increase damage range by 20%. The, and then bullet velocity increase up to 30% from tw minus 12%. Damage range increase to 10% up from minus 10%. So basically it went the opposite for both of these. Um, horizontal recoil penalty decreased. Um, initial firing recoil penalty decreased. So this got buffed to... And then this another barrel damage range increased by to 35%. Bullet velocity increased. Dude, this got buffed like crazy. Um, so then assault rifle Bravo. Again, I don't know what the frick this is. I think this 303 British round mags. I want to say this is the. Um, let me look this up real quick. This is like kind of dumb. Uh, Vanguard weapon code. Yeah, 
guys. I have ad blockers. Stop. Sh just shut up. Okay, here we go. So, Alpha Assault Rifle Bravo is the Itra Burst. So, let's see what they did. Capacity increased. Capacity increased. Okay, for all these mags. That's cool. And that was it. <laughs> so, basically, no point in using the Itra Burst because they didn't really buff it or anything. The Volkstrom. The Volkstrom. We. Yeah, give her. I'm not German. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, bullet velocity penalty removed, damage range penalty removed. Damn, dude, they buffed the hell out of the 30 round and the 40 round mags. Uh, this barrel bullet velocity increased, buffed a little bit again by more than 20%. Uh, this barrel also now increases bullet velocity and damage range. So they buffed the hell out of these some of these guns. Um, Bullet velocity increased to wait to minus ten percent, up from minus twelve percent. So is that wait? That's better, right? <laughs> the horizontal increase penalty decreased. Vertical recoil penalty decreased. So the Volks from Strager um got buffed a little bit. The Vargo fifty two. I don't think I even use this. So let's see. Horizontal recoil decreased. Vertical recoil decreased by using this barrel. The 17.1, 17.9 barrel. Horizontal recoil decreased. So this got buffed a little bit too. Because, uh, yeah, all the recoil has been decreased. Has been changed. A little bit significant. I mean, from 7% to 8%. 5 to 8. Or from 8 to 5, I should say. And eight to seven on some of these, so not a huge change, but maybe it decreases just enough so that it's like more a little bit more usable. Four grip also decreased the the penalty. Um, wait, horizontal recoil control decreased. So this is a nerf uh, here. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Let me, let me rephrase this. No, these are nerfs to the gun. Um, Cause the horizontal recoil control decreased to two and a half percent from, so you know, these are all nerfs to the gun. So making the recoil much harder now, harsher. Um, because now they're decreasing the recoil control from 20%. So you can control it better to five. Wow, that's a huge nerf from the Spetsnaz script. XM4 minimum damage decreased, so now it's not going to be as powerful. Maximum damage range increased to 880, up from 850. Interesting. Uh, handguns. Who cares? Um, ooh, LMGs. That's going to be a thing. Uh, let's see. Light Machine Gun Charlie. That is the brand. Uh-oh. Max damage decreased from 32 to 34, so no longer, so a little smaller than 3, 10% decrease in the max damage for both min and max. So this both got nerfed um, uh, by like 8, 9% or 8, 78%, 7 to 8%. So damage just got straight up nerfed on the gun itself. Uh, the 40 round Sakura mags increased okay so they nerfed the recoil or they yeah they nerfed the recoil on both of these the 77m uh, specter barrel again got this thing got nerfed so now this is no longer be basically you're not going to be beaming people from like 100 meters anymore uh with this gun because it got nerfed like a mother effer um so has overstayed as welcome as the go-to long-range choice. It's high damage profile. Yep. So they nerfed the hell out of the brand. Good thing I didn't buy a. <laughs> I was about to buy the that one blueprint for it, where like it it, it, it it placed the scope or the eyesights like right in the middle of the gun instead of to the side. And I almost bought that thing, but now that they nerfed it, thank God I didn't buy it. Uh, the Whitley. 
So next up, the Whitley Manage uh, Min. Which one is the Whitley? It's a Vanguard gun. I don't even know what the hell this is. Um, I know I don't use it, so whatever. Okay, sniper rifles. Here we go. The adoption of 150 health and battle royale results in a huge boom. Boon? Boon? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they mean boom to the sniper category. While all other weapons require an additional shot or two, snipers remain as they did previously. Long-standing one-shot rule unfortunately diluted the sniper class into one important metric. Speed to click heads. Who wrote this? As mentioned above, snipers may now use damage range as a defining characteristic of their one-shot potential. This not only brings more identity to each weapon, but means attachments that provide the lighter and quicker sniper rifles. Damage range that will increase their ability to one-shot in the left. Ultimate goal is to enable a wider range of viable play styles and really push potential of each weapon. Keep an eye out as we expect to further adjustment sniper rifles in the home. Okay. So the following weapons will one shot to the head only while inside their max damage range. So, well, yeah. Oh, I'm assuming this is the car 98. Um, so the SPR is going to get nerfed. Pellington, the Swiss, naturally, Type 99, and the Car 98, Vanguard. So all of them got nerfed within their max damage range, which I don't even know what it is. Fung weapons will one shot into the head at any range. Okay, so now basically they're bringing back the HDR. They're probably bringing back the AX50, uh, the ZRG. Oh, that was always not a bad gun. The three line rifle and the Gorenko anti tank rifle. So, all these are still going to be. So, I guess basically, uh, people aren't going to be rocking the Car 98 anymore and they're going to be rocking the HDR again because they need that one head, that, you know, one shot kill type of situation. The following weapons do not have one shot potential to the head. All right. Uh, please see the following list of changes to snipers. I don't know what Sniper Rifle Charlie is in Modern Warfare. But basically most of the Sniper Rifles will still keep, um, at least from Modern Warfare, will keep their one shot to the head at any range. But Marksman Rifles will definitely be nerfed, particularly um, particularly um, the car 98 and the uh, Swiss but also the SPR which is kind of a bummer because I never really got to use the SPR I feel like and then some machine guns the Armaguera 43 now fire rate decreased to 10% with this I guess with uh, this round mag Okay, now increases damage by 5%. Okay, so fires last quick, but does a little bit more damage. So it's about a 30% nerf on fire rate, but increased damage by 5%. Okay. The... And then the short barrel, they made it a little bit more accurate. I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, Type 100, visual recoil decrease. Okay. I don't like, so basically it just looks less recoily. <laughs> Is that the deal? Okay, the eight millimeter, 48 rounds, the damage multiplier is decreased. Movement speed is decreased. Or it's increased, I should say, in this say, case. Owen gun, um, the 33 round mags. Neck multiplier down was decreased. So the 72 round mag head damage multiplier decreased. So this thing got nerfed as well. Not by a whole lot, but a little bit. So neck and head damage multiplier has been decreased. 
this barrel, the 142 millimeter fire rate decreased. Okay. Submachine gun Charlie. That's the MP40. Uh oh. Minimum damage decrease. Oop, got nerfed on the on the minimum damage. Upper and low torso damage multiplier decreased from 1.04 to 1.11. So this got decreased as well. That's a bummer. Um, is this all SMGs? Uh oh. Marksman rifles. The M1 Garand lower limb damage multipliers increased to 0.8 to from 0.7. Okay. So they did, so pretty much MP40 got a little nerf, not a crazy one. I wonder, again, <laughs> who right? huge boon? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's like not a word, uh, not a, not correct, right? Like, um, N is next to M on the, on the, on the keyboard. So I don't know. Uh, but there's, there's no one like proofread this stuff. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, uh, okay. Uh, looks like they did nothing to the Milano, which is great because I love that gun. Um, M1 Grand, whatever, don't care. Uh, ammunition, subsonic rounds, bullets, velocity, penalty removed. Uh oh. Ooh. So subsonic rounds make you invisible. Like it's almost like putting a silencer with, you know, not too much of a nerf. But now they remove the bullet velocity penalty. Hmm. But it doesn't mean it's still going to be that powerful. So we'll see. Muzzles, Mercury silencer, damage range penalty removed. MX silencer now decreases sprint to fire speed by 2%. Now increases damage range by 10%. So kind of a fair trade-off between the Mercury and the MX silencer. So the Mercury might be the one to go with now. New operator, Mateo Hernandez. I don't care. Uh oh my god. 38 um almost a hundred gigs. Look, I know I have a lot of space on my PC, but holy mother of god, that's a lot. And that's all the updates. So if you guys want to go check out these updates yourself, I'm sure there's a link. Um, I'm sure you can just go to the ravensoftware.com and I'm sure there's a link to it on, on all these changes. So, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming and we'll see how it really changes the dynamic. I'll be keeping my eye on Warzone stats to see what the new metas are. So anyways, thank you guys for watching really appreciate it and we'll see you guys on warzone check it out take it easy